Hey, wonderful people, we're back here again talking about manifestation, law of attraction, all that good stuff. I'm Frank, and let's get to it. We're talking about timelines, collapsing timelines, timelines. <laughs> oh, the cat. The cat is going crazy. See, the cat has a lot of timelines because <laughs> the cat is going to be doing this, that, this, that, this, that. You don't, you don't know. It's all random. It's all over the place. But when we're doing things, we want a specific thing to come true. Just one specific thing. And collapsing timelines is a very, very important thing. If like you want to go to a certain school and you're young and you're going off to college, but you just want this one college and not all the others, or this one person to love and not all the others, or this one job and not all the others, if you get the idea, you want to collapse these timelines. You want to have one possibility, the most likely to come true. I call it a possibility filter. It filters out all the rest until you come down to near one. The two things that do this are fear and love. When you fear things or you love things, it comes down to pretty much just one thing. Let me explain. Uh, if you have a devastating thing happen in your life, you're going to, you're going to absolutely just put everything else aside till you do this one thing. Say you have a devastating disease or your house is blown up or it's, it's going to focus you in a way that's going to collapse timelines down to one. You're going to do this one thing and only one thing and you won't care or, about anything else. You'll be very decisive and very determined to get this one thing done and one thing only. Like the uh, example of somebody had a gun to your head and said, I don't know, um, do whatever. You're going to do whatever. There's not going to be any infinite possibility. There's going to be one, one. And <clears throat> the same is true for love. When you really, really, really love something or someone, you really don't have any other options after that, right? You, it's about this one thing. It's about, you know, if you had a goal that you just loved so much, just loved so much, it just set your heart on fire, it just set you free, it just did everything for you, it just, you just loved it so much, really, that collapses all your timelines. So how do you get into it? Well, you find things to love about it. If it's hard to find things to love about it, then it's probably not. You probably need another goal or another person, right? Uh, but that's it. That is it. And the the basis of this, though, what's really important to remember is that you, yes, you can use fear. You can use fear. You can use terror and all that stuff. That just totally collapses the timeline. You'll fear not doing it worse than anything else. And you won't do anything else. And what's the negative side effects of that? Well, the negative side effects of that, it, it's actually, it's kind of short-lived. It also takes a lot of energy out of you. It can traumatize you. And it makes you more fearful of more things in the future. Not great. But what about if you loved things? If you if you want to collapse timelines around love. So you want to do this fantastic business idea that you love. And you want to collapse it to it's one thing. And you're only going to be doing that thing. And that this thing is going to be surefire successful is that you want to find as many things about it, uh, to love about it as possible. You want to love it so deeply that you forget to eat, you forget, right? You forget everything else. It's all about this one thing. And what's good about that? Well, when you go positive, you get the whole thing. You get uh, a positive frame of reference. So you're going to be more likely to see solutions than anything else. Because that's what you're looking for. 
you're going to be more likely to be motivated because you're positively motivated. You, you want to do this every waking hour of your life. Or you want to be with this person every waking hour of your life. So you're going to do amazing amounts of things. Uh, and it also, it, it, you can manifest positivity on top of that because you're so positive because you're in such a loving state and such a loving frame of reference and mind and body and soul <laughs> that just about everything you manifest on top of that is going to be better so if for a, a more concrete ex example is if you like you want a ticket on the lottery instead of it being a hundred dollars it, it'll be a thousand a million because you're already on that high platform and you're manifesting higher instead of lower. That's why you want to use positivity to collapse your timelines and not negativity to collapse your timelines. Don't use fear. I mean, some people use a, a mix of it. They kind of use the, the bulk of it is positivity and the perimeter of it is negativity, what they fear. But there's some people that that are principally motivated by fear. That's just the thing. They're just incredibly motivated by it. And so they basically put themselves in a situation where they, it's do or die. And the terror of not doing it motivates the hell out of them. <laughs> motivates them as much as possible. And that is an option too. But like I said, it has those downsides that I don't personally like. And I have found that if I manifested a situation, a goal, I want it to be a goal I can work with in the positives. I don't need to be hunted down in the negatives. I've done that already and it's not good. Not good at all. So I would, yeah, definitely do that. And I just wanted to put this out there because this is one of my epiphanies. I'm going through an epiphany list. I've had, I have a huge epiphany list that I'm going down and I'll show you how I do that. How you capture the gold of your life. Capture it. Don't let it just go through your fingers like sand at the beach because that stuff can slip away if you don't write it down. But you can manifest a goal, a business, a school, a future, a a goal, a life goal to go after that's that heart centered that will pull you along even when you're not motivated. But when you are manifesting from uh, positivity, it just kind of pulls you along. You're going to get more and more positive and more and more motivated all right, so that's about it. Um, you want to collapse those timelines, and I've had to do that in my life. I've had to do that in my life where I just wanted this one thing to come through, and it was just all this other noise and stuff, and I had to find my way through it. I did use negativity, and I did use positivity, and I found positivity works so much better, so much better, because it's a self-regenerating, uh, it's, it's, it's perpetual power you know it's perpetual motion it, it just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes where fear kind of runs you down and runs down your life and it can work like i said some people are very motivated by fear uh but i am not i'm not one of those people so i want to put that out there i hope this helps somebody a, a lot like it has helped me because it was a real game changer i'm putting these game changers out there I'm hoping to help the world as much as I can and give it out there instead of just hoarding it to myself. And we're out. Have a nice day. Have a nice life. And <laughs> all those good things. Positivity. Positivity. <laughs>